Hello and welcome to the devotion for Monday, April the 9th, and it's entitled, It's Monday. And we talked yesterday about life change. Today is the first day of a changed life. No matter where you're starting, no matter what the challenge, whether you're just trying to take those first small steps of letting God be the Lord of all, or whether you've walked with the Lord for a long time and you're looking to accelerate and to move into new territory or to reclaim something that might have been lost along the way, Monday seeks to drive us back to business as usual, to same old, same old, back to normal mundane activity. And God has called us to so much more than that. He's called us to live a vibrant life. But how are we going to do that? I got three passages today that I want you to think about. You might even want to uh, get one or two of them out. And uh, if you got your computer, pull them up, print them out, stick them somewhere so that you can see them on the dash of your car, on the monitor of your computer, wherever you might put this verse before you. The first one is this. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. You need to continue to remind yourself, I am a new creation. I am going to be different. God is working in my life. I will not give in and go back to business as usual. Second passage in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you may abound in every good work. Just to say to yourself, God is going to provide what I need. I am not going back to where I have been. I'm going to have a new attitude. I am a new creation in Christ. I'm going to look at things differently. I'm going to see with God's eyes. I am going to gain a new perspective. I will not be mastered. In fact, that's the third verse. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. I am not going to let the world mold me. I am going to be transformed by the power of God. I'm not going to be conformed into the image of the world. I will not let that happen. I am going to war against it. I am going to fight against it. I am going to gain ground today, Monday. I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to have a new attitude, a new mind, a new look, a new creation. I will not be drugged back to business as usual. I'm going to fight I'm going to stand. I'm going to look for wisdom. I'm going to look to see things in a different perspective. Pray that in particular. Pray, God, help me see this situation different. Don't let me get drugged back into the world's mold. Don't let me get squeezed back into that thing again. I, I don't want to be conformed to the pattern of this world. Lord, transform my mind. Transform my attitude. Transform the way that I look at this. I refuse to go backwards. I am going forward. So guys, that's our commitment. It's not rocket science. It is, I am a new creation. God can give me a new attitude, a new vision, a new understanding, a new direction. And I will not be drugged back. I will not let the world mold me. I am going to be molded by what I know God has called me to do. I'm going to look at things differently. I'm going to seek a godly perspective. I am going to be changed, new, because of what God is doing in me. Let's pray. Father, Lord, you have given us the command that old is gone and the new has come. You have said that we don't have to be molded into the world's frame. We don't have to be conformed to the image of the world, but we can be transformed by the renewing of our minds. God, give us a new mind. Give us a new attitude, a new heart, a new perspective. And Lord, lead us in a way that is going to be different, that this Monday will not cause us to go back to business as usual, that we will move forward, that we will find life, that we will pursue health, that we will be new in attitude in heart. And Father, I pray that that new attitude and heart will also affect the environment around us, changed and made new. Do your work in us as we fight for that new life. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, fight for it. Do not let anything take back the ground that you've committed in your heart. Get your band out. Every time you look down at it, go, a new day 
a new dawn for me, a new place of life, a new place of health. Fight for it, and I'll be back tomorrow.